fish, black minnow. If you haven't heard of these, where have you been? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They've become sort of pretty much a cult lure over the last year or so over in the UK, yeah. aren't they? Hugely successful. Massively I mean, the successful. reason they've just taken off. Yeah. And the reason is people catch bass on them. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they might look a bit odd and a bit a bit as if they won't work. I must admit, when I first saw them, I thought it looks really, really good, but you know, what a rigmarole trying to re-rig one. Mm. Because but, there's sort of like an articulated head, yeah. obviously, so the hook moves as well yeah. inside the body. It's weedless, it's got a little, a little V at the top there, so the hook sits in there nicely, so you can cast that into the weed, into the snags even. Mm. You know, you could fish that through a wreck, and it would just bounce off the front and center until the fish comes up behind it, grabs it, as it grabs it, it pushes that little bit of soft material down there, exposes the hook, and you're away. Which I guess is one of the reasons why it's so successful. It's very soft as well. It is extremely it's soft. Action. Yeah, um, that's one of the things that really sold this for me. When I saw them at the, uh, the TNG trade show a couple of years ago, and they had them in a tank, and I was just pulling them along. Yeah, and you could the really see it going. Yeah. 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 yeah, super. I mean, if you get a chance, have a look on their website, because they've got a few videos on there um, of these things in action, and you won't believe how lifelike they look. But this is a big one, isn't it? This is That's the big, biggest this one. This is awesome. the latest one. This is a 60 gram, which obviously for boat fishing is yeah. going to be, you'd make it much more versatile. Yeah, that's style. perfect. You know, 10 grams, so they were a bit limited, but you can yeah. do so much with the heavier weights. Yeah, well. absolutely. Um, I, was, I was jig fishing last week, catching some black bream, um, and we had no tide at all. And it's, you definitely get a better fight, as you know, from just even using a plug. Good you plug. get a much better yeah. fight with a direct contact yeah. to the lure than mm. having a trace with a lead bouncing up and down in the middle. Yeah. Especially with braid, it's just so direct, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you get a spare body in there as well. Yeah, it's part of the combo with, yeah. with all theirs. And you can buy, uh, we sell the spare hooks and we sell the spare heads as well, and the right. spare tails. So, you know, if you if it all gets, uh, if it gets mullered by a, yeah. a bass or what have you, you can just buy new some new tails and uh, get, it helps get yeah. it a little bit more Because cool. so they're not only just good for bass, I mean, a mate of mine over in the Isle of Wight, Andy, Probably. He's been catching rats on them. Rats? Yeah, loads of them. And then, you know, when you catch a rat on a soft plastic like this, that's it tends that's to be pretty big. So, you know, he's had them sort of four or five pound over there. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and he's actually targeting them with the, with the, with the fish right. black minnows. Uh, yeah, they, they do work. Yeah, they do. Oh, well, there's no, no question. You can always tell because you get them repeats and repeats. And, yeah. And, yeah, it's... Uh, Nothing succeeds like <laughs> success, does it, when it comes to that? No, this is something I haven't that's, seen yet. That's good. These are, these are new, and right. they are already in really short supply. Okay. That's the crazy sand deal from Fish. Right. There you go. Have I've wanted to have a look at one of these for ages. <laughs> well, not for ages. I've only been out a couple of months. Yeah. Hey. Well, you can see why people are going crazy for them, can't you? Well, they took a couple of years, Nick. Uh, Nick from Topwater Lures who yeah. imports them. He was uh, he was saying they've taken a couple of years to develop these. And right. The reason they work is they push a lot of water and it gives the bass something to home in on. Yeah. Which is why they he reckons they. It's got a big... rattle in there. Oh, as there's well. a rattle. Yes, I forgot the rattle. Yeah. yeah all, all helps, I think. Excellent mm -hmm. stuff. Now I'm definitely going to have a go with these this summer. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to come in different colours eventually, but right. as I say, as we as we speak today, it's uh, they're only in the green. But we're waiting for the other ones, and we're f waiting for more stock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that that body is just so soft. Yeah. You can see why. Th I, mean, yeah. I haven't seen this in the water yet, but I should imagine it's a pretty. If it's anything yeah. like the black minnow, if the action on mm. that's going to be superb. Well, once again, there's a few clips, <laughs> clips on YouTube of them working. Is it? Mm. I was actually reading something on the back here about the. the high swimming vibration. You mentioned earlier that these have been designed to create a lot of disturbance in the water. That's it, yeah. I think the thing is, it's not just something they've just turned out. It's no, they, they it's have a been bit working a little on R&D going exactly, on. Exactly, yeah. Well, the guys I've got over in France that are actually testing and playing oh, these things, I mean, they look, seriously know their bass fishing, don't they? They do, don't they? Awful lot from the boats. Yeah. They, they seem to be really into fishing from ribs. And, yeah, they, uh, yeah. And going out in crazy mm -hmm. weather and hammering big double-figure bass. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Superb, yeah, so there you go. The fish yeah. with three eyes. Yeah. <laughs>